so one day after I wrote my book, I thought I would celebrate by buying myself something special and I decided to buy these shoes. And inside the shoe store at YSL and Rodeo Drive is where um, everything started happening with like a TV show for my book. I met this woman, I mean, look at this shoe, it's fierce. I met this woman in the shoe store and she was like, my husband should make a movie on your book and then his son ended up being my manager and um, it's just like bananas, but it's all because of this shoe. The amazing people at Jeffrey Campbell sent me a care package last week and inside it was this. What? It's like Cinderella. Remember when the prince comes and finds Cinderella and he like slips the glass slipper on? It's like Jeffrey Campbell slipped the sequined gold platform on me and I'm like now a princess. So this is amazing. I think I'm gonna wear it to the Emmy Awards maybe. I don't know. How cool is that squishy, right? Well, I'm starting a collection of Chanel bags. This one I bought myself. This is a new Chanel. And then this one I got at Wasteland in LA and it's totally kind of falling apart, but I sort of love it. It's like white and it's long. Don't worry, baby. I will take you home to a nice home. I will adopt you. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, a little thing happened this year called the Royal Wedding. I'm so obsessed with them, like every morning on Huffington Post I read about the Royal Wedding, like what's Kate's wearing, what Pippa's wearing, do Pippa like pat her butt in the dress, like it's amazing. I was all up on the scoop of like who was making the wedding dress. One of the editors at Vogue brought this scarf to swoon at his work and it's the um, official wedding scarf. They gave this as the um, favor at the Royal Wedding, so on it it says April 29, 2011, William and Kate. I love animals, I love going to the zoo, so I got this spirit hood and um, I wore it on the red carpet last year at the HBO premiere and then I got on Star Magazine's worst dress list. Boo. I love to wear a cuff, so I have like some of the cuffs that I made and then I like to sort of tell a story on my wrist of like all the different places I've been. I got um, this bracelet when I was backpacking through Belize last Christmas so I like to like collect a cuff everywhere I go and instead of like getting a, the t-shirt at the gift shop I always pick up like some sort of cuff or something. These are my tap, my Rockette tap shoes. Interesting thing is that we um, tape the bottoms of the shoe with duct tape. Uh, like gaff tape, gaffer's tape, before we tap on stage because it's, the taps get really slippery. These shoes have been through six years of rocketing, like which was my childhood dream, so it's just really like pretty emotional and I, even if I'm not rocketing anymore, I'll never get rid of them. Where there's ribbon, there's point shoes. Basically it's just like hard here and the shank of the point shoe here, it keeps your foot up when you're doing ballet. And I was, um, took classical ballet until I was 18 years old, so it was a really big part of my life growing up. And every once in a while I go take some ballet. These are my ballroom shoes. <laughs> so this is what happens when you dance really hard and it's called your shank is broken. These I wore in Peep Show in Las Vegas when I was working with Mel B and I was like a massive Spice Girls fan when I was a kid. So the fact that I got to dance with her and like rock these shoes, I'll never get rid of them even though they're kind of broken. These are my Rockette character shoes, so they're not taps on the bottom, but um, it's just so amazing the detail that, that they go to because like even the there's rhinestones right on the toe of the shoe. So a lot of people think that the heels are super high but they're only two inch. Thank you BuzzNet for coming and seeing my closet and now I'm gonna take a nap.